Yeah, I've been coming to Miami for a long time, and I think uh, the city's grown a lot over over a long period of time. It's a great part. It's a great part of the country in the United States. Um, obviously, you feel the weather is is very sunny all the time. It's got a very uh, boating culture. There's obviously a lot of uh, beautiful South Beach, and uh, there's great restaurants. But there's a lot more culture coming to the area, and I think even the, even the the advent of F1 and um, you know what they've done over at the at the Hard Rock is pretty amazing um, but it just speaks to the growth of of this uh, of this state and it's um, it's a very it's a great place to be oh well there's a part that's you're excited and then there's, there's the nervous part you know it's a it's a new circuit there's not a lot of time to practice so uh, but it's exciting when you get out and you find a new a, a new course you go out and you're like discovering all the different features of the circuit and um, the surroundings and you know this has been a dream for our sport to, to be in Miami you know we've been here to see other sports but our sport hopefully will own its right to be here this week and uh, put on a great show for everyone. Yeah, I got a knit polo on, I got some golf pants, so it actually performs pretty well for being in this climate. Um, but it's been really a, a, great adventure, a great adventure over the last three or four years, uh, kind of collaborating with the design team and, and bringing it all together. I think like anything, it's a, I feel like we're just still at the beginning and um, you know, it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to develop. A uh, great plan, but we have a great group of teammates that are working hard to deliver for for uh, you know our fans, and um, it's been really enjoyable. So I got to pass some stuff over this weekend to my boy. So you know maybe on his uh, you know after the race he can put something super comfortable on. I actually got home the other day and I got this amazing beautiful box oh, did you and I opened it up. Yeah, and it's, I got a great cap and, a, and I got one happy, jacket. Good. So um, yeah, it was, it was it was good for the rain there. Uh, wouldn't have worked out today the poncho, <laughs> but uh, uh, it's great great. Stuff. Uh, this is big IWC Pilot. This uh, this is my favorite one. I think the color that we have, um, but it's for me. It's always been one of my favorites. It originally originated back when it was with Top Gun, which I'm a great big fan of, of Top Gun the movie, and I love that the, the association of a um, uh, big pilot and that you know being a pilot of a sport. Um, fighter pilot. I always wanted to be a fighter yeah, pilot. I, I but believe the, it. Yeah, all the dials yeah, and a great one. Uh, wow. I, I would, it's still something I want to do. So. Um, but I just, again, I've been to Schaffhausen, so I've seen the work that goes into the back of this. But also the weight, I love the weight that it has on your arm. I, 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 I feel quite naked without having my watch on. Yeah. Um, and it's just that extra styling piece to, to the look. This goes perfectly well with our outfits, you know. It's kind of a fun story. When I was in college, you know, we were, had $300 scholarship checks. You know, it was, I was in Michigan and I, I thought if I wanted to be a professional football player, if I ever made a few dollars, I was gonna buy a watch and I went online, this is like way early in the internet days and looked at a watch that I would have wanted. It was an IWC GST automatic alarm. And I thought if I ever make any money, that's really gonna be the moment that I feel like I did something. So sure enough, two years into my professional career, we, we won a Super Bowl. I went to New York City, it was 57th Street at a store, at a retail store called Turneau. And I walked in and I saw an IWC and I bought one and I still have it today. So. Uh, 20 years later, I still have it. And every time I wear it, I always wear it to a lot of important occasions just to remember, uh, give myself a lot of perspective on, you know, on, on where I came from and, you know, what that symbolized, which was, you know, a lot of hard work for myself, but a lot of amazing people that have come to my life over the years. So, you know, I think they really capture, obviously they capture time, but they capture amazing memories for all of us. And, you know, we'll remember, obviously, an event like this, but a lot of other events in our lives that were really important. And, you know, watches can symbolize that for us. So. It's a big part of my, uh, you know, just feeling grateful for amazing things that have happened. And, and uh, I'm certainly going to remember this day. Even though this watch is going to a charity auction, I have one similar that uh, I actually wore today that I get to wear on the ride home. So I love that.